All right, as you can see, we got the fuel rail off, we got the plate off, we got all the fuel lines capped off, ready to go. Problem. This is the fuel pressure sensor for the fuel rail, and uh, it decided it didn't want to, it didn't want to be in existence anymore. The problem with that is that the dealership is closed. The parts stores do not carry this part, and it's Saturday. So uh, we're going to get creative with repairing this. Key is not to get it on the sensor itself. Brass connectors. Or so I have a little bit of a lip left. I have to find it just right to pop it down in there. Uh, just so after a little bit of uh, researching and realizing that. Um, me epoxying this part back in is not going to work because I went back into the engine bay and found this little bad boy. So we fast forwarded at this point to a week later and I've ordered the part. So I ordered this part from Amazon. It is uh, $26 from Amazon, $1,000 from the dealership. So you do the math and uh, yeah, so I'm taking a huge gamble in this part working or not working knowing that i have to take all of this back off to get to this because of where this is at on the back of the engine bay so it's all the way back here that means i have to take this off the fuel rail off all this stuff has to come out of the way so that i can get this part on so yeah i mean if nothing else it's, it's just practice 